Screwview versus Floodless. If you've been using React Native, then there is a high chance you've come to this crossroad. So when should you use a scroll view and when should you use a flat list? So on the React Native documentation, we get to know that scroll views renders all of its children at once. Okay, so if we have like say 2000 children, scroll view is going to render everything at once, which is bad for performance. You know, you can't render all 2000 items at once. So that's where flat list comes in. So what Flatlist does is that it renders only the items that are visible on the screen. So let's say we have like 2000 items and then looking at the height and weight of the items, we can only get to render um, five items on the set device screen. So Flatlist will only render five. So the remainder will be rendered only when the user scrolls. So let's see. Um, we render the first five items and then we start scrolling then the sixth item kicks in the seventh the eighth and so on so until we have scrolled to that element that or that child that child has not been rendered you get me. so that's the core difference between a flat list and then a scroll view and also so you, the question is when is it good to render a screw view so there are certain instances where you are dealing with something like a form say um, a user registration form and then you have some um, a, some number of input fields so with that a screw view is good for search to without being said let's say we have this ui over here and i'm using a flat list to render this instead of a screw view even though let's say we have an avatar okay a username which is this line i didn't want to use test all over so i decided to go with this block component okay so we have this and then we have the input field we have this carousel and then let's say this is um some category which is a horizontal flat list and then we have this main flat list item over here and now we've also implement over here okay so this is what we have so this is the header okay let me comment it out so that you see it disappear so you see that's gone now let's put it back that's the header and this is the search inputs and there's our carousel and now we have our flat list so you can see over here we are not using any data and when it comes to the render item we are rendering no for render item but this is where we are using our content the list empty components we can even use that in let's say the list header component there's a list footer component it only comes with flat list okay so that's that goes to show you how how beneficial a flat list can be okay so over here and then if you have been using react native there's a high chance you've come across um you cannot um nest a virtual list inside of a screw view that's warning okay so when you are dealing with um flat list you can nest a screw view within a flat list and you can nest another um let's say we are dealing with a vertical flat list you can nest another um horizontal flat list within that flat list okay so let's see um an example of that so this is a clear example of that so this is the main um main flat list and when we come over here we have this child flat list this is a horizontal one over here and then with this this is what you are rendering you are rendering this and this is this okay and flat list also comes with this item separator component so you see mostly when you are dealing with screw view and then you want to provide some spacing for the child items that will be rendered you need to use something like margin horizontal to give it some space on the size of that particular react child but when it comes to flat list, you can use this items separator component and then let's say for me i just use a view and then give it some width of 10. so what this does is if there is a next item the first item would have um the item separator the if the next item also has another next item it will get the item separator but if it does the last or the first you see the the left for the first and then the right for the last wouldn't have the item separator it works more like gap in flex layout okay yeah so that's how the item separator works so these are some of the things that you get when you use flat list 
so if you are wondering so should i use a flat list but i'm not going to render any item you can still go with a flat list and then do things this way okay you don't have to worry about anything now this i'll put to refresh that i was talking about so to implement it you just have to provide a boolean value that will be used to track the refreshing state of the flat list and then the on refresh which is the function that is used to refetch whatever data that you did fetch initially you get me so when we come here and then we pull you see this indicator over here so that shows that it's loading and then when it changes to false it goes away so this is what we are doing over here it's just some simple promise we delay for 2000 milliseconds and then we change the state of this um the loading state okay so this is basically it for today if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe see you in the next one i just hope i recorded this video <laughs>